The mission of a journalist is to shed light on issues that often remain in the dark. Well, this journalist has rewritten the rules on how to accomplish just that mission. Speaking of a trailblazing TV commentator, Jeff Johnson. I am an unapologetically black man who has a desire to see our community be better. I do the work because I believe in the work. How can we trust Hillary Clinton when she was a part of an administration that saw these policies really wreak havoc in the African-American community? Protests continue coast to coast after the disappointing grand jury decision in both Ferguson and New York. There are a lot of people that in many cases don't think that you've been aggressive enough in talking about the numbers of African-American men that are overwhelmingly shot versus white men. A brother that many of us know by the name of Langston Hughes wrote the prose, I too am America, I'm the darker brother. Strategic standpoint, who's the African-American voter that your campaign is targeting? Because we as say- As many we say, as possible. Well, and, and of course, <laughs> rationale is to win. And so the Republicans are doing what they can to prevent the people who vote traditionally non-Republican to get to the polls. And, and so this isn't new. They send me to the kitchen when company comes, but I couldn't think that he would ever imagine that they shoot me in the street when I'm unarmed. That are, there, are there ever times when the responsibilities and obligations of president get in the way of how you want to respond as a human? Well, they uneducate me when I know that I'm brilliant, when they ignore me, when I have the light of humanity inside of me. And people like myself have a job of telling the stories that other people don't want to tell stories about. Can the call for change from our young people eventually affect policy change is the question. But my passion above all else is to see uh, young people manifest uh, their destiny and their call. Because one of my concerns is that there, there are a lot of elders trying to tell young people what to do versus making themselves available. What's the vision that you have, not necessarily as President of the United States, but as Barack Obama the man, for those children that's different than what Mike Brown, Tamir Rice, and others have had to face? I would be remiss if I didn't thank my children, Madison, Miles, and Malcolm, because it is their love that challenges me daily to be better. I want my children to be seen as the individuals that they are, and I want them to be judged based on the content of their character and their behavior and their talents and their gifts. And it is the love of my wife, Jacqueline, that has changed me and made me better on a daily basis. And so I thank my family. I want my legacy to be that I used my talent and ability to be able to positively affect the communities that I worked in, to be able to not just inspire people, but create transformative change.